recording. Here's my head sculpt for this uh, barricade for the last night. So it has to have these angles that are sort of night-like. And this is sort of like the Galvatron from the last show and sort of Gundam-ish and everything. And got to give it its... I want it to look like barricade still with all the points. And that's the best I can do for what I would do for you. See, this to me is easy for me to understand this, to build this. I just love how I got these flowing like this. just looks wicked. So anyways, that's what I... This all yellow, bright yellow is the brass color. You know, just to separate the colors. These would be like the vents for breathing. These would have like screens in them for more air and stuff coming in. And I can't get that. Uh, my hand is going away from it. I'm trying to show stuff. So got lots of rivets and lots of detail and the double pleats up in the chin area here and so this is basically you know when you got this to go from so and that was the best I could do through a microphone glass and just sort of hard to see but that's what the top view would look like and so let's give it these extra fins here and so the idea is I'm trying to get that sort of angle make it look more movie like and more fitting for what you know I could see them in the they want that's this so it's smooth so those points are easier down for them to animate right so that's what I think the sculpt should look like so nice square ones there on the edge lots of detail lots of wicked edges just love the way that fin came out there there's something familiar about it isn't Galvatron sort of like that in a way Anyways, that's all on a light bulb with just plaster scene. Oh, and the one other thing I want to show was this page here. Oh, it didn't get emailed. There's the pictures of the suits. So this is how my foam goes. I'm going to use this thick strapping. It's nice, uh, you know, so it's not going to, it goes on the inside of the foam and with the foam. So I got to build all these foam parts. Then they'll go together to make three sections. So you have feet, that put on. Once I got that, I put all this garland and loom and the, shiny polished cords and they go all over on the suit so then when i put the armor over that it shows through the armor this idea not nothing behind like that optimus prime we gotta wear black clothes then the next thing i would do is build all the armors to attach to them it shows in this picture here better what i'm doing so like a, you know all these greeblies are on the suit underneath it's all flexible for you then i build like this plate and this plate out of the metals or plastics and make that so that part hinges and then attach that to the foam suit and then I put the armors on after and it all works great. That's the plan. So anyways, I was just trying to get the head sculpt. I always get carried away. You know, I could, could smooth down some areas. Like that looks weird, but it is like that's because that's what is on the other side to get all the right angles and just playing with enough transformers. So it's sort of got the bumblebee shape, but and it's got like uh, the barricade points. Tried to give it barricade. Ah, uh, what do you call them? And then like the picture you showed me in the drawing, so they got like these little vents down in the edges and stuff. So I can work that in when I build it out of plastic, like this. See how this corrugated looks here? That's what it's sort of supposed to be there, right? It's gonna look hot. I like this design. So we'll see what we think. If we got lots of approvals for that, that's what the new Bumblebee or uh, Barricade head will be like. Okay.